Hey everyone, Tom Raftery from Green Monk. Uh, I'm just after coming back from the IBM Pulse event in Las Vegas, and I was just—I had a number of thoughts about the event. Uh, I was. Uh, I was impressed uh, very much by IBM's commitment to smarter technologies and their movement in that direction. Uh, you see a lot of it with, for example, they talked a lot about the Smarter, smarter Cities initiatives that are going on. Uh, they talked a lot about the smarter buildings. Uh, and they talked a lot about um, smarter transportation, for example, uh, with a lot of good use cases cited. Um, in the uh, Smarter Cities examples, uh, one of the good presentations was from the, uh, either the CIO or the CTO of Boston, uh, Boston City. And he gave a great presentation about how over the, the years they've, they've done a number of initiatives in Boston. Uh, and one of them was around their mobile app. And they have a mobile app which empowers the citizens of the city to go out and if they see some graffiti or if they see some potholes or things like that, they can just take a photograph of it with the application and it's automatically sent into a work order, uh, assigned to someone to fix it. Uh, and then when it is fixed, uh, the person who reported it gets a notification in their app to say that Joe from Boston City Municipal uh, Anti-Graffiti Section or whatever has cleaned up your message and thanks. And they're starting to build out gamification in this as well. So this is a great way of getting citizens involved in looking after their city and making them proud to do so. And in fact, one of the quotes that uh, this guy gave in his presentation was that when they asked citizens before why they weren't engaging with the city, they used to say things like, well, when I called up the city, uh, to report something, I, I, I get the impression I'm complaining. Whereas now when I use the application, I get the impression that I'm contributing, you know, that I'm helping make my city better. So I thought that was a great, uh, a great um, soundbite around why these kinds of initiatives are important for cities and for getting citizens of cities engaged with their cities. Uh, in the smarter buildings, uh, there's a lot of uh, Tririga um, um, uh, sessions in the event and it was it's great to see how that has come on steadily in the in the couple of years since it was acquired by IBM and, and in fact uh, Green Monk was responsible uh, for, for at least some of that because uh, I wrote the introductory email that introduced John Clark of IBM to IBM back in the day I was in 2009 I think um, also, uh, smarter transportation, there were a lot of smarter transportation uh, examples, uh, things like Yara in New Zealand and that. Uh, and I was talking to some of the guys on the smarter um, transportation pods, um, and they were talking about things as well, like they've got smarter transportation going for things like um, trains. Uh, <clears throat> and they're trying to get into the uh, airline industry as well, if they haven't already done so. So getting things like bus fleets and rolling stock of trains on that helps enormously with things like, you know, even the, the, they've got predictive analytics working in it now. So uh, someone who owns a bus fleet or a rolling stock and trains, they can see ahead of times when things are likely to fail. So if they see that a, an actuator is going to fail or, uh, I don't know, some component of, of, of a train or of a bus is, is coming close to failing, Instead of waiting for it to fail and have the machine be down for longer while parts are sourced, you can source the parts ahead of time and then commission when it goes uh, in for preventative maintenance uh, and then swap out the parts that you know ahead of time are going to fail. It means that the maintenance windows are shorter and the downtime for the vehicles are shorter, which is, you know, it's money saved, it's also safety, so it's, it's a boon for everyone. So, no, it's been a very instructive um, a very instructive uh, event and I must say I'm, I'm really impressed with how IBM have taken this smarter initiative and have really run with it. So uh, kudos to them and I look forward to seeing how it, how it evolves over the next 12 months to the next event.